The event was fantastic. We got to hear from experienced developers out there. Like we we have been seasoned to a to a norm whereby we have been mostly taught classroom classroom things and now when Africa Stalking and Atlassian came, thanks to Atlassian community Africa Stalking, they get to show us how we can apply our skills into building real world applications. And I can say that I'm really, really inspired to create more, create more projects and to how Africa Stalking, they really much, um, they make developers work more efficient, proactive. We can have opportunities to create bigger and bigger applications. And right now I'm more inspired because I can start my own business on my own to the skills that I've acquired today by creating like let's say send airtime applications where I can send it, sell it airtime to my fellow comrades. Yeah, the event was fantastic. It was amazing. The food, the speakers in general, and the experience was just fantastic, top notch. I don't know if I'm anything about DevOps. I have to do more research. Hey, this tech world is big. Huh? Anyway, I'm enjoying Sana. Staki kutaja pizza. Staki. Like, you know, yeah. I've learned a lot of things considering I'm a first year. It's a very nourishing foundation for me. And to get it at such a young level, it's really inspiring. I wasn't really informed well about the DevOps culture until the speaker who taught us the DevOps practice. He really gave a detailed uh, <clears throat> walkthrough of what DevOps is, tools that are used when you're doing DevOps. Yeah, so I learned something. I, I knew Docker, but I didn't know there was a way to monitor Dockerization and stuff like that. Yeah, so I learned that today. Uh, this event has really, really affected my career in that um, I have found more insights in how to build more, to build solutions that relate more to real world problems. And I could, I found an opportunity in that I, even though maybe at a time I might not get a job somewhere, I can self-employ myself by starting like, let's say an entrepreneurial uh, position or company whereby I sell the products that I've acquired the knowledge I've acquired here today. So I can say that I've, I won't come of this place the same, the same way I got in, because I have added a, added a skill on my portfolio, on my CV, and right now I'm confident that I can turn myself as a developer. Um, the impact was hope. There is a lot of hope. Um, seeing Mutuali um, Pitya, a journey have passed, and they are on me for results, so, means there is a good thing up there. Plus, I mean, it's a challenge. I need to keep up. I need to work more. So, I mean, main impact is there is hope. Yeah. Take a issue. Yeah. It's such information that you will find in those tech areas, the industries, and so on. And having such knowledge, it gives me the psych to find out more and meaning uh, by the time I reach, as I go on on my tech journey, I will have enough content at least. I think the, the, the biggest advantage of this event is I can now view things in a different way. Not only seeing the way things were done traditionally, like hosting servers on-prem, now I think I can see more of a cloud, moving to the cloud, yeah, and um, Basically, it's, it's the exposure for me. That, that's the, the, my biggest highlight. Yeah, and learning them from people who are practicing in the field. Yeah. Um, I would say it was perfect because everything was okay. Let's see from the speaker's perspective, there was no exception that it was an um, intermediate level. Both levels were catered for. So I um, really, really much appreciate the speakers of the day because 
they took their time to make sure that the concept that they talk about, each and every individual gets to understand them better. So apart from that, also by the demos and how they initiated the hackathon, which enables one us to build stuff and come up with solutions as to what they taught. So that this puts us in a better hand in that we are not only here for the theory part. At the end of the day, we will have some skills added to it and we are confident that you can build something. So I really, really much thank the organizers in general for putting up this event, coming up with all the speakers and coming up with this hackathon in that they just made everything better and made our lives better and I'm so happy. I say it's, it's been very organized and timely. Not, it has not been boring because they've been involving the crowd in the aspects of questions and answers, giving out swags, etc. And the hands-on skills, the hackathons, at least it gives a chance for the crowd to practice what they have learned. Because as you can see, we're integrating the APIs for Africa Stocking into our projects. So it means that at least to show that we've got something from what we've learned. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. It's been, I think almost everyone has learned something new. Yeah, or something they didn't know or something they knew but they didn't quite understand why things worked the way they did. And from this event they can come out today. It's a challenge, especially for the beginners. They, they need to like, get out of their comfort zone, start coding. Yeah. Currently I'm building a project whereby it's a health system whereby someone can track his medication through the app. He can also make appointments to the app and he gets notifications on when he or she can visit the doctor for that, for that um, appointment. So right now, honestly, I was not thinking of, uh, I was initially I just thought of implementing as e email or something like that. But from this event, I am now confident that I can implement also SMS feature through my application and USSD as well to cater for people who lack smartphones. So I will use the, I will use the application to cater across all individuals. Our project is called Kachonjo. So it's basically a Nyumba Kumi in Tech World. So uh, instead of uh, an emergency, Neza to my SSD or a message, neza prompt all the people around your area. We are integrating IoT when a button is clicked more than three times, means it's an emergency. So it alerts the people around you. For our group, we looked at a challenge facing the most students in terms of accessing the portal, and we saw that most of the time accessing the protocols can be lagging because of the network and stuff. So using the USSD API, we're creating a platform where students can access the portals via their phones and you can see not all phones access internet so it will be helpful. We're thinking of a project where you can RSVP using uh, USSD. That yeah, some people don't have smartphones, and at times you might not have internet, or you might have poor internet connection. So you are thinking you can RSVP using USSD. My name is Olvin George, and I'm the GDSC lead from Masinem University of Science and Technology. My name is Moses Njaroge Muiru. I'm a second year student here at Computer Science. I'm Valencia Nema, currently a first year student in Computer Science and aspiring to be a web designer. My name is Elin Jerry. I'm a student here at Masinde Muiru. I'm in my fourth year and uh, I love cybersecurity.